So getting started with the Google App Engine using Python and Eclipse, the first thing you want to do is go to googledevelopers.com app engine docs and we'll take to this page here. We're going to follow the getting started guide. We're going to be using Python 2.7. So click on that. There's a little introduction there. And then you can uh, you should read that. And then you go to development environment, the next section, and it tells you the first thing you need to do is to download Python itself. So go to the Python website, download Python, install it if you don't have it. Uh, you need 2.7, that's what we're going to be using. Uh, like it says, you know, the Mac OS already has it installed. Otherwise, do that. Then you go click here, download the App Engine SDK. Um, so you're going to download and install. They got Windows, Mac, and Linux. So pick the one you need, download it, install it, and, and also run it one time. Uh, at least in the Mac, when you run it the first time, it, uh, it'll ask you if you want to create some symbolic links. You say yes. Um, and then uh, it'll drop you into the GUI. Um, to do that, the GUI will look like this. So that's the, the little icon, and it'll look like this. Uh, without these guys, of course, yours will be empty. So leave that there. And you come back here. And uh, so this is where they uh, they then move to Hello World. Uh, they don't actually show you how to install Eclipse so, or set up Eclipse for it. So I'm going to do that. You go to Eclipse, run Eclipse, then you go Help. Um, Eclipse Marketplace, if you don't know, uh, this is what it looks like. The Eclipse Marketplace is like the app store for Eclipse. So you can get all these plugins. Do a search for Google. Enter. And I'll show you the Google plugin for Eclipse. Uh, you don't do not want this one. That's for an old version of Eclipse 3.6. So scroll down. You want this one, the Google plugin for Eclipse. Click uh, install. There'll be an install button here. I already have it installed, like that. Uh, so it just says update. But uh, yeah, click on install and install the Google plugin. You're also gonna need PyDev. So do a search for that. Again, there it is, PyDev. Uh, just click on install and go through the you know the whole thing. You need to restart Eclipse, and finally, uh, you might as well uh, search for YAML and install this uh, guy Yedit, which is a YAML editor. Uh, you don't need to do that one, but it's nice to have because we're going to be editing a YAML file, uh, and that's it. So you have to re restart Eclipse after you do all that. Then uh, you'll be ready to say file new, and uh, we want to create a PyDev project. Uh, no, sorry, we don't do not want to do that. So click other. We want to go here under PyDev. We want to create a Google App Engine Python project, and which happens to be under PyDev. It's not under Google. You'll have this Google directory here, not there. It's under PyDev, Google App Engine project. Hit next. And then uh, also the first time you do this, like here is already picked a Python interpreter for me. The first time you do this, you might not have a Python interpreter. So you'll have to just click here to configure an interpreter. And then once you're there, you should be able to just click on auto config right here. And it will config the Python interpreter for you. Um, so that's the first time. Once you have that done, now you have a all that is doing is telling Eclipse which Python interpreter you want. Uh, so you want to tell it to use the one that you just installed. That's the first step. Uh, okay, we need a project name. I'm gonna go with Hello World, and uh, then we want to hit next right there. Then the Google App Engine directory is user local Google underscore App Engine. And you see all these things pop up. You say OK. So that is this is the directory where you installed the Google App Engine SDK. Uh, so when you create those sim links, it'll actually in the Mac it'll sim link to here. Uh, click finish, and there you are. You have a Hello World project, but it doesn't have anything on it, just the Python libraries. So you're gonna right click new. I want a PyDev module and uh, the name of the file. I'm just going to go with main. I hit finish. 
So I have a little main file that has nothing in it. Then let's go back to the tutorial here. So the hello world page <clears throat> we're in now tells me uh, this is the basic hello world program. So I'm going to cut and paste that guy over here. Boom. There I go. Uh, then I'm going to go back over here and I said I also need a configuration file also known as an app.yaml file. So I need to create that. I'm going to go hello world. Uh, new. Oh, by the way, I, I don't like this actually. I uh, I like to put the source file under a source folder, so I'm going to do that now. Put create a health source folder there. Then I'm going to move this guy over there. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to under there. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it uh, app.yaml. Hit finish. And there's my app.yaml file, and then I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to copy from the tutorial what they say. So there's my app.yaml file, and um, uh, just to go over this, I have to change, the one thing I need to change here is, this is main, because I call my file main, so this has to be main, and the .app, this app, it doesn't refer to this, it refers to this variable here, app. Right? So if I change this variable name to app2, whatever, I would have to change uh, this to app2, but there's no need for that. So I'm not going to do that. Um, so this is the basic hello world. Now I have created it. Now I need to set the server to point to this so that we run your Google App Engine launcher, which should be running. Uh, this will be empty, but you're going to go file, add existing application, because you already have created the application. Browse and then you're gonna browse to the the directory that holds the app.yaml file. Uh, in this case, it's the SRC directory. I'm gonna choose that, and I want this at 8080, and I'm gonna say add. And you see, it picked up the hello world from the app.yaml, uh, and then I click run. And then, if you're lucky, you get the little green light says it's running. You also want to click here on the logs which will pop up this window here this is the log file that tells you shows you what your server is doing so basically we're running a little web server now that is running my uh, my Google App Engine app just as it would run on the App Engine itself so this is how you do your development that way you can test things on your laptop and you don't have to keep uh, sending stuff up to the App Engine so there it is it's running it tells me that it's running at uh, localhost 8080 and it has the admin console at localhost 8080 AH admin. So what I can do is I can go back to my browser, open a new tab, I'm going to go to localhost 8080 and uh, there it is, hello app world. You can switch back and you can see the log files tells me that I just got a get slash uh, and that was a 200 and so it worked. So now, you know, you can go back to your Eclipse and I can change that. I'm going to say, hola, web app, mundo, mundo, oops, and uh, change it to Spanish. I save it and I don't need to do anything with the App Engine launcher. I can just go back to the browser, reload, and boom, there it is, hola, mundo. Um, so mostly you don't need to mess with the App Engine launcher. You just keep it running and keep the log file running and see what's going on. Just go switch between Eclipse and uh, and then going back to your web browser and hitting the reload button every now and then. Um, so there you go. Now last thing is the publishing thing. Um, so. Uh, Go back here, uploading your application. If you click on that, it tells you, gives you instructions of how to upload uh, your application. The first thing you need to do is go to this site here, appengine.google.com, and register uh, a new ID so you can create a new application and uh, register a new ID. It's going to be hard to find an ID that works. Uh, once you find one that works, you can you know check availability. Like you know, Google is uh, taken. Most words are taken. Um, 
eventually you'll find something uh, like I have a CSE 242 test app. So once you get one that works, like CSE 242 test app, CSE 242 test app, uh, you put it there. So you change your application ID to that, um, and then. Um, you see the App Engine Launcher notice that, change this to that. Then all you need to do is hit the deploy button and uh, username and password um, for your Gmail account.